In this video, I will demonstrate how to create an animated splash screen. In Ionic 4, you can use the Ionic CLI to generate splash screens using images in the resources folder. However, the splash screen generated using this method is static. Let's see how we can create an animated splash screen. In this video, we're going to be making use of the animated project inside the code bundle. So let's open this up in Visual Studio Code. Here we are in Visual Studio Code and we have opened the config.xml file. So right here on our preferences section, I'm going to paste the relevant code. So first we've set a splash screen delay of 10,000 milliseconds or 10 seconds. And we've set show splash screen to true. Let's save the file. Next, we want to head on over to app.component.html. And inside here, we want to paste the markup from our resource spin kit. So highlighted here is the markup for our actual spinner. And we've wrapped it in a div with the class of wrapper. And also we've put this conditional called show splash, which is going to be a variable that we're going to add shortly. So let's save the file. Next, we want to add the relevant CSS which is going to be added inside this file app.scss. So firstly, we have the code for our wrapper. We're going to add a background color that matches the splash screen that's there. We're going to add some code for responsiveness and centering the image. This Z index of 100 is to make sure that the wrapper will be the topmost item. And finally, a position of absolute and a width and height of 100%. Let me just correct a typo there. Next, I'm going to add in the CSS for the actual animation. So there we go. Let's save our changes. And finally, the code to tie it all together goes into app.component.ts. So firstly, we will import timer from RxJS. Next, we have a member variable called splash, which is going to control when the animation is displayed and not displayed. And we want to default that to true. And inside our platform.ready method, we want to add the timer code. So what happens with this code is after three seconds, it's going to change the value of that show splash switch to false. So let's save the changes and let's run our application in the emulator. So let's run the app in the emulator. And there we go. There's our animated splash screen.